Hi friends, my name is Michelle and I'm a child care associate at the Casco Bay branch of the YMCA of Southern Maine. As native New Yorkers, my family often craves good old fashioned bagels to make our weekends complete. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a simple at home recipe to make your own bagels. Here's what you'll need. Two teaspoons of active dry yeast, four and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar, one and a half cups of warm water, three and a half cups of either bread flour, high gluten flour, or just regular all-purpose flour, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And then your choice of optional toppings. Starting with just half a cup of that warm water, you're going to add your yeast and your sugar and let it sit for five minutes. When that five minutes is up, stir it until it dissolves. Next, mix the salt into the flour and when it's completely integrated, make a well in the center where you'll put your yeast and sugar mix. Mix the dough really well and you can add in the remaining warm water as you need it. Um, and you may need uh, anywhere from 50 to 60 milliliters more depending on your water and where you live. You want to have a firm but moist dough. A lot of mixing. On a floured countertop, you're going to work this dough for about 10 minutes. You might want to add a little extra flour because you want to get it smooth and firm, a nice consistent dough. In a large bowl, lightly oil and work the sides so it's fully coated. Place your dough inside, cover it with a damp dish towel, and place it somewhere warm to rise for one hour. After you let the dough rise for another 10 minutes, we can get to work. We're gonna divide it evenly into about eight pieces. Now you can do this with a scale, or you can just eyeball it like I do. We're gonna take each one of those rounds and start to work it into our surface. Here I'm using a cutting board just so that things don't stick quite as much to my wood. And you're gonna work that into a perfect round ball. Eventually I'll get this into a perfect round ball. But once you have your ball, set it aside and you're gonna do the same with the other seven pieces of dough. Next, we're gonna coat our finger in just a little bit of flour to keep it from sticking, and we're gonna poke a hole in our beautiful dough balls, and then stretch that ring to be about one-third the diameter of your bagel. Once you're comfortable with the ring and the shape, we're gonna place each one on a lightly oiled cookie sheet and let it rest for another 10 minutes. While you're waiting for your dough to be ready, preheat your oven, 425 and bring a large pot of water to boil. Use a slotted spoon or a skimmer to lower the bagels into the water and you can boil as many as you're comfortable with at one time. Once the bagels are in, it shouldn't take too long for them to float to the top, maybe only a couple of seconds. Let them sit there for a minute and then flip them over to boil for another minute on the other side. You can extend that time to two minutes on each side if you prefer a chewier bagel. Once your bagels have been boiled, transfer them to an oil or parchment lined baking sheet. This is the point where we'll add any toppings that we want. You'll need to use an egg wash to help the topping stick. Brush the top of your bagel and sprinkle on the seasonings. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown.